Right, we're going to have a go at subtracting mixed numbers. So, success criteria for this, very similar to subtract, I mean adding mixed numbers as well. It's all about converting the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Now to do that, you need to remember, mixed number, you need to ask your ma for help. And the ma stands for multiply and add. And I'll show you how to do that. There is a video related specifically to it if you wanted to go into a little bit more depth. But it's fairly straightforward. Then after you've got converted from your mixed number to your improper fraction, then you need to find your common multiple between the two fractions. Then convert the fractions to the new common multiple. So whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. And then finally, just subtract the top number and keep the bottom the same. Okay? So convert mixed number to improper fractions, find the common multiple, convert the fractions, and then subtract the top number, keep the bottom the same. So let's have a go at a couple. So we've got two and a third, take away two and a sixth. So first thing, we need to convert this mixed number and this mixed number into an improper fraction. So remember, we ask our mass, so multiply and add. So we do two, the whole number, times the denominator. So two times three gives me six, and then add the one, which gives me seven. And the denominator always stays the same. So seven over three. Take away. And then we do 2 times 6, which is 12, and add the 1, which is 13. So it's 13 over 6. So we've done the first part. Second part, we need to find a common multiple between 3 and 6. And this one's fairly straightforward. It is 6. So we're going to convert these two fractions, improper fractions, into sixths. Now this one's already in six, so straight away we just write it down. This one, however, what do you do to 3? to get to 6, you times by 2. So that means we'll have to times the top by 2. Whatever we've done to the bottom, we'll have to do the top. So 7 times 2 gives me 14. And then the easy part, just subtract the top numbers, keep the bottom number the same. So subtract 14, take away 13, gives me 1. Let's have another one. So my answer is obviously 1 sixth. Let's try another one. We've got 3 and 2 sevenths, take away 2 and a half. So, first things first, ma, convert our mixed numbers into improper fractions, multiply and add. So we do 3 times 7, which is 21, plus 2, which is 23. So now we've got our, our improper fraction. To convert this into an improper fraction, 2 times 2 is 4, then add the 1 gives me 5, so 5 over 2. Now we need to find our common multiple between the 7 and the 2. So think of 7 times table. 7 obviously doesn't work. 14 works for both. So we're going to convert them both into 14ths. So whenever we go to get from 7 to 14, what have we done? We've times it by 2. So that means we have to times the top by 2. So whatever we do the bottom, do the top. So it's 46 over 14. Then what have we done to 2 to get to 14? We've times by 7. So that means we have to times the top by 7. So we do 7 times 5, which is 35. Now, keep the bottom number the same, simple, and subtract the top number from the bottom number. Just do a quick column subtraction, 1 and then 1. So my answer is 11 over 14. I'd, um, I probably could have done that quite quickly in my head, but just to make sure, I would suggest just doing a quick column subtraction because it takes no time at all. So my answer to 3 and 2 7 is equal to 2 and a half is 11 over 14. Now, for one for you to have a go at, we've got 2 and 3 fifths take away 1 and 2 thirds. So, remember, convert it to an improper fraction, find the common multiple, and then convert it, and then finally take away the top and leave the bottom the same. So if you want to have a go, pause it now, I'll go through the answers in three seconds. So three, two, one, right. So convert to improper fraction, remember, ma, multiply add. Two times five gives me ten, add three is thirteen. So we've got thirteen over five. Take away. One times three is three, add two is five, which is five over three. So this is my new question now. So 13 over 5 take away 5 uh, over 3. So I need to find a common multiple between 5 and 3. So 5 obviously doesn't work. 
10 doesn't work. 15. 15 works for the 2, so. 15. 15. Let's turn them both into 15s. Now, what have I done to 5 to get the 15? Of times by 3. So I have to times the top by 3. So 3 times 13 gives me 39. What have I done to 3 to get to 15? I have times it by 5. So I have to times the top by 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. And finally, the bottom number is the same, and then we need to subtract these two numbers. Again, just do a quick subtraction, leaves me with 14. So, two, third, two and three fifths take away one, and two thirds is 14 over 15. Okay.